old Unix system. If you're not, you can go to getcomposer.org and you can download from there. So if you have Windows or Mac OS or whatever operating system you have, you can go here and download the Composer and make sure it is installed in your system. So once you have the Composer installed, what do we need to do? We need to open the terminal. So I open the terminal in our code editor. So here, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say Composer. When you hit Composer, it gives you this. That means your Composer is not installed. So, so as you saw in my computer, the Composer is not installed. I'm going to install it straight away. So when I go to get Composer.org, I go to download here, and I want to do install it for Mac. So for Mac, they have these commands that we can run. For Windows, you get that exe file that you can install. So uh, let's let's do it for the Mac here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this command from here gonna go into our terminal paste this and hit now it says PHP is not uh, installed for this particular reason we need to go to the uh, socks.biz and here in block section all right guys if you face the problem like the PHP not installed in your system as well like we got here command PHP not found you can go to this post uh, the link is in the description as well. So here basically we are installing the uh, PHP in the latest uh, Mac OS operating, operating system. So here we can run this command. So I'm just going to copy this and run it. It's going to use homebrew for it. So we'll go back. All right, so we need to run this command. I'm just going to copy it to here. And yeah, now we go here. I'm going to put the new tab here paste the command and run it and it will ask password for your system so provide it this will take some time so we need to allow it so basically if I go back here now uh, we have this command running after that now once this command is done installing fonts run we need to do this these three one by one so we will be doing it So it's installed the Xcode now it is doing something it's downloading the uh, required files so we need to uh, make sure our co process completes properly make sure you have a stable internet connection while you're doing this running this same command on the uh, Mac terminal is totally fine I'm doing it in the VS code it's the same thing that doesn't make any difference so All right, so it's, it's 500 MB, so it's a big file. And I'm just proceeding. All right, so it completed the stuff by whatever was required. Go back here. We need to run these one by one, so I'm just going to copy this command now. So, yeah, we'll go here and paste. It is going to ask your system password. Provide the password. Go back. So, we ran one. Now, if I run this one, let's do the third one now. one all right now if I go back let's see if we have to run any more commands uh, okay so we need to run this brew command now and uh, this is for 8.0 now we can install the 8.1 so I will go for 8.1 so I go here and I say brew install PHP 8.1 so it's gonna do the stuff and it's gonna install the PHP 8.1 for us. It's doing it now. This will take some time, so just let it run. And uh, yeah, once it is complete, we will proceed. So some files are big, and uh, that might take some time, uh, approximately a few minutes, to complete the process. So 
basically depends totally on your computer's uh, internet speed. So yeah, just uh, be patient while the instructions go on. Alright, PHP now installed and it gave us like that, that if you want to restart the service, you can simply run this command to restart PHP. So So if you have a slow internet connection, this might take approximately half hour. It might, but if you have a fast one, it should be in a few minutes. So I'm gonna clear the screen now. I'm gonna see a PHP dash dash motion. And we get that we have PHP 8.1 installed now. So at this point, we can install the composer. So I go to composer website and then copy this command and run this here. So I'm gonna clear the screen again, paste the command and run it. Now it is going to install the composer file for us. This command is going to be pretty quick, so I'm just going to get the second one. Alright, we got it. Get back here, run it. It says installer verified. Now go ahead here. This time we need to run another command, which is the this PHP composer setup. And paste here. It is downloading the file. Then we have the link file. To. Now, what we need to do, we need to move the composer to a directory, and that is given here, move to the system directory so that we can use there. So, what I'm going to do is going to paste this here like this password provide for the system. Now, if I run composer, and you will notice that we have composer installed. So, we successfully installed the composer and as well as PHP. And I'll go, it's not enough